navigation video for the online physical science class. When you first log in, you will have a list of courses. I can't click on the dashboard right now because it doesn't give me the view you have. Certain things will look a little bit different. This is a master course, so they um, will not be as specific as the class you will see. For example, for this course, it appears as my name is name instead of Lena Neidegger. But it will do as a general navigation. So when you click on courses, it should give you the courses that you are enrolled in. And if you click on home, this will be what you'll see for the general, the physical science class. Okay. All of the important buttons that you'll need are on this, the left hand side here. The home page has just very general information just to get you started. So a welcome message with some contact, content information for your instructor, a description of the course, and you can see that because this is a master course, the, the beginning and ending are, are blank. Uh, co course information such as required materials, and supplemental materials such as the lab kit, the materials, lab materials, extra lab materials for the physical science class. The lab kit you will be purchasing from the Butler Bookstore, but there are some materials that are not included in the lab kit just because they're so common household items. And under lab materials, if you click on this, it will open up a Word document with all the materials needed by lab. So for lab one, you will need X, Y, and Z. For lab two, you will need all this. And so you can open both of these. You will look at the lab kit materials and whatever is not included in that lab kit, you will either just look around the house because it's there or you might have to purchase one or two things. Not very many. The one thing that you will need to purchase is a scale and I have provided an example here of what it looks like. You can find something else, that's fine, but as long as you have a scale that measures to at least a tenth, so one decimal point, it'd be better if it's two, but to at least a tenth that will be fine. Here's the browse, browsers that go very well with Canvas are Google Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. And they work the best. Do not use Explorer. They don't work very well. So this is just on the home page. Then if you go over on this, the left hand side here, oh before we go there, when the class is in session, you you will see this to-do on the right-hand side, and it's nothing for now because there's the class is not in session, but you will have a list of assignments down here that are coming up, and so this way you will be able to keep track of what is coming up for the week, what you need to do, what you've already done, etc., etc. So this is very helpful. You can view a course calendar that will give you a regular calendar, monthly calendar, by, and it also will have all the assignments listed for that particular day. So let's say you see the week Monday through Friday, you might have a, well, let's look at it. For example, you might have a homework due on the 22nd and a lab due the 23rd, it will show up here as a, an assignment that is due. So you can look at it that way too. Then the next important thing will be the syllabus. This is also in a general format right now because it's a master class, but it will contain all the relevant information for the class information for the instructor, office hours, which are by appointment or by um, email, the materials that you'll need, 
listed here. Then the class information, the grading components that are broken down here by assignment type. You will have a grading scale. You will also have the class schedule that is broken down by modules and by week. That's also important. You will have the policies of the institution as well as the instructional policies, the instructor policies, such as makeup assignments or attendance or drop dates, etc., etc. I would suggest that you, if you click here, it will open up another page and you'll be able to print the syllabus. I suggest that you print a hard copy of the syllabus just so that you have it as a reference to go back and look at. Well, how many points is that homework worth? And just general information that you need for the class. It, it will be important. Then the next button, and you will use this quite a bit, is contains the content for the class. And it's called the modules. These are all the modules for the class. This is where all the information is stored. So you'll be spending a lot of time under this button. You can start under the introductory module. This is the begin here. This has just, once again, information that will get you started. And the first assignment, the student introductions. Introduce yourself to the, the other students in the class and to the instructor. Then you will move to module one, module two, et cetera, et cetera. Everything is dated, everything has a due date, and so you can work ahead, but once you've passed the due dates, you cannot go back and finish those assignments. So you have to make sure that at the beginning of the week, you look at all the assignments that are due for that week and complete them by the due date. Otherwise, you will not be able to Here's an overview of the module. Here's a list of the notes. These are just short experts, excerpts of the concepts that, that that chapter covers. You might have some extra video videos and worksheets, other resources that are provided for you to explain a difficult concept or to illustrate it. So make your way through each one of these and also read the required readings from your textbook. Once you feel that you have gotten a grasp on the material, then you can come to the very bottom of the module, of each module, and you will have the activities by the due date. So you, for example, you'll have a syllabus quiz. So if you click on that, it will open up a new page and you can hit the take quiz and you can start quizzing. You can see that this is timed. Most of the quizzes are timed. You can take the homeworks over and over and over again till you get them, but the quizzes will be timed and so the quizzes and the exams you cannot, once the time's up, you cannot keep taking them. You will have a discussion where you can post, post your discussion. The first one doesn't have a reply to other students, but module two and on, you will not only have to write your own, post your own discussion, but you will have to reply to two other students' posts as well, just to kind of get you discussing about different ideas and read what other students are writing about. When it comes to labs, so you will click on, let's say the first lab here, and it will once again open up a new page. It will tell you the file types that are acceptable. So a, doc, a Word document, DOC and DOCX. If you have anything else, I cannot open it. Sometimes you can do a PDF and you can scan it, but I prefer DOC, uh, Word documents because I can make comments much easier. 
you will have a lab procedure, a written lab procedure, and I also have a short video that talks about the lab, so these two go together. You can open the lab procedure in a different page and read about the lab. These are the instructions. Once you read the instructions, you can open the, the template. Most of the labs will have a template, where you, it, which is a Word document that has all the tables and questions pre or post lab that you need to answer. So you click on the template, open it up, fill it out as you do the lab, save it as a Word document, DOC or DOCX, and then when you're done, you will hit Submit Assignment, and you will choose a file, find a file that you saved, and then Submit Assignment. As you can see, there's also a rubric attached to the lab, which breaks down the points for the lab, and you can see how you're going to be graded, which I think comes, comes in handy because you can use this as a guide as to what you need to include. If you don't include them, then you're going to miss the points. So that is, it's kind of a good guide for you. Every lab is worth 10 points. And that is how you go about working on the labs. The rest of the modules are pretty much the same. You will find the same format. The next button that is important will be the grades. This is where you get to look at your grades and keep track of what's be, what assignment has been graded and what assignment hasn't been graded. So as I grade them, you will see the score that you get out of a total point. So you will be able to keep track of your status here. And lastly, the announcements. I post a lot of announcements. That is, this is how I communicate important information. So be sure to look for announcements. I also send out a lot of email. So here's your inbox here. You can click on that and get your emails. So please pay attention to these two because that is how I'm going to contact you with information and details about upcoming assignments or reminders or whatever other information I need to pass along. So make sure that you either check your email quite a bit or your announcements. One more thing that I forgot to mention. During the labs, when I grade them, you will be able, you can't see it now because there is no assignment submitted, but when I grade them, you should be able to come back here under the, the lab page where you submitted the assignment, and if I make a comment, which I tend to do as I am grading your labs, you should be able to come to this page and be able to read the comments that I leave for you. Though that is important to do because I am trying to correct something that you may have done wrong. And so some of this information you will see on the exam again because you will have lab quizzes as well as regular exams. So those comments might come in handy. Come in here at the end when, when the lab is graded and look up the comments that I have made for you. If you have any questions on how to navigate or any other questions, feel free to go to your inbox and use the, the email that is provided under the syllabus for me. And, of course, right now it's blank, but it will be there for your class once your class starts. And contact me. So don't be shy. Always ask questions, and you should be fine. So this concludes the navigation window, or the navigation video.